Yo, Venom Swite here, and welcome back to the Outer World. So, the uh, idea of going through that door, not where we need to go. I did a little bit of googling, uh, because I happen to know there's somebody else, because I'm a trophy hunter, so of course I looked. So, I've investigated two suspects, and there's four suspects. I believe I've investigated three suspects. I think that is incorrect. But the fourth suspect is the prophet of profitability. Um, so to find her, you can find her, but I don't know where she is. But we're just going to skip through this guy's... Skip through this guy's dialogue. Do you know the victim? Blah, 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 blah. So we talk to him, and you've got to exhaust his dialogue options. So... This is just going to be him talking about all the stuff, the problems between uh, Sublight and Slug. Uh, he's not going to know anything, I don't think. Did you kill Helen? No. Back to my other questions. Back to mother. Okay, so we exhausted some of his options, and then we get the option to investigate the profit of profitability. The productivity queen. Uh, you'll find there regarding her involvement, the prophet runs her sermon retreats on the extreme productivity camp deep within the wilderness of the reserve. So. Uh, that will be over there, so can we fast travel to... Hmm... Hmm... we fast travel to there, we'll run across, and we'll investigate her, which, yeah. That's the plan. That's the plan. And we're gonna hope that that's... That's the, the, the last suspect. I don't... I doubt this chick's done it. Like, what's... She's literally the prophet of prophet profitability or whatever why would she kill someone who's making money like it doesn't it doesn't seem reasonable already so I really have no idea who the killer is and I don't think I'm going to solve it but but we will see everyone's innocent if you ask me right oh and we grabbed them um bottles so I'll show you what to do with them bottles as well I did a bit of a google for that too it's because if I don't understand a trophy, I kind of... Ah, that's... That's not a bridge. Shit. Shit. Alright. Run around time. Oh, um, so there is also a, a trophy called the Mutt and Jeff. So, I loaded back to get this just before. So when you talk to, um... The, the hockey stick player. Uh, I forgot what it's called. What's it called? Hot ball. Uh, balls in net. Something to do with balls and sticks. Uh, what's it? Bir Birdie Beetle. Burt's. I don't know. Whoever he is. Uh, when you speak to him, you speak to him in uh, the Prince of Tossball. Who's it called? Black Hole Birdie, when you speak to him at the pub over over here, there is an option to uh, have... Yep, yeah. yep. We'll do that, okay. Nakoda. Right. Um, shit, it's a dead end. Uh, what was I saying? So yeah, when you, uh, you speak to him, if you bring Pravati along with you, when you do that, or I think, uh, Ali, I think's her name, and, um, you get an option to play, uh, Good Inspector, Bad Inspector, and by getting your person to, um, do the Good Inspector, Bad Inspector, you will then get that trophy. Uh, if you go back to the previous video, it's just after Dakota goes on her rant about all the different slang used to describe uh, somebody who's drunk. We are just going to avoid that fight. I'm not in the least bit interested. They can do that. Um, yeah, and then 12 bottles. If we go over over there to the R&D lab, 
we can put those 12 bottles in in a machine over there somewhere and we can get a special weapon, one of like the legendary weapons that uh, exist throughout the main Outer Worlds campaign and the other expansion pack and why is my phone going off? I'll tell you why it's going off it's because it needs an update and I refuse to do it why am I staggered? Oh, that's why. I've been playing a little bit too uh, much uh, Remnant from the Ashes. Have I got a broken foot? Why am I moving so slow here? I think I've got a broken foot. Um, let's do this. Oh, there you go, that got rid of it. If you looked up in the top right there, her little foot thing, I think I broke my foot. No, my phone just needs junk cleared from it. Alright, so this is the Wildlife Reserve, I believe. Byzantine Tourist. Ah, there's the woolly cows I've been talking about. Legal hunting supplies. Legal hunting supplies, oh cool, <laughs> okay. Welcome to Hunter Legal's Legal Hunt. Okay, how can I help you? Uh, investigating the murder, have you seen anything unusual lately? This whole land complex is a failed wildlife exhibition turned oh, hunting reserve. Step but in I unusual. reckon you're asking about people unusual. But she is mighty far in the depths of... <sighs> no, I don't care. What are you guys doing? Ah, uh, your forklift's tipped over. That sucks. Never managed to do that myself. Get them bogged a fair bit though, but you know, it is what it is. Um, now I'm wondering if there's got to be another mission. This is a pretty big area. Another tourist. Do these guys have a uh, neck? No. Looking for the, the neck parasites. Candy canyons. Got some canids. Candy canyons. Well, uh, looks like we're going down there. Yep. I don't know, man. I don't know. We might taste like lollipops. Alright, come on, guys. Let's, uh... Oh, I might slow it again. Can we kill that Colossus, please? Just... Yeah, there you go. Get rid of that thing. And get rid of whatever's shooting acid at us. Oh, the Colossus is still alive. Now oh, it's dead. Right, you stop that. Okay. Thank you. Alright, awesome. Looks like we are... Looks like we found the Prophet of Profitability. Let's uh, have a chat with her. Captain, what is this place and why is everybody acting so strange? Oh, law. They ain't cannibals, right? Oh, oh cannibals. I mess with cannibals. Uh, no, I think there's a cult, probably. Um, anyway, yeah, we got here. I to turn the game off and come back. Oh, yeah, this is culty, bro. I know a cult when I see one. Oh, yeah. Doesn't look anything like I thought she'd look. Oh. I forgot that this man, these um Gotta keep going. I can feel my internet. Was it in that tent? Did I miss it? Huh, okay. Well uh Ah, there. Where's this? Okay. I want to analyze. Analysis suggests this to be a variety of herbs. Herbs have been uniformly treated with a pungent chemical mix. Warning. Ingesting, smoking, or inserting non-corporation sanctioned substances into your ears may be harmful to your health. Yeah, okay, burning these would generate pretty toxic smoke, and I don't think the corporations really care about people's health. Um, don't. Alright, make a note of it and let's move on. 
fruitful and productive welcome, brother. I had a feeling you would visit me. Oh, well, I know he didn't. I offer a wide variety of productivity seminars. I hope you'll consider taking one. Ah, but I should remember my manners. To what do I owe the pleasure of the special inspector's arrival? Um, I'm looking for the murder of her. Yeah, okay, I'm looking for the murder. What do you know? But first, I'd love to interest you in one of my productivity seminars. We'll free you of those potential hampering humors in a heartbeat. Humors? Yeah, are you saying humors bad? I don't understand. As science has taught us, the body is made up of two things, flesh and humor. These humors are semi-fluids that, when improperly balanced, may cause you to function inadequately. What? By signing up for my seminars, you can balance these humors for only mildly inordinate and repeat payments. Cancellation is subject to repercussions. Yeah, that sounds fishy, I'm not no, interested. I assure you, we all bathe semi-regularly. That's probably just the compost heap we have our customers. Oh, seminar visitees, lion. It promotes freeing oneself from one's body. But of course, I'm just going to accuse her because I just don't like her. Cushions, if they don't cancel. Regardless, can I interest you in a seminar? I'm not interested in the so profit. I don't have any time I can spare. I've got a murder yes. to look into. I understand the pressure of one's employment all too well. We've lately been looking into more ways to bolster the retreat stock of bits. But you needn't worry about how this little conversation is affecting my livelihood, brother. Please, take your time. Do not care about your livelihood to my in the slightest, you bloody cult leader. How might I assist? I'm just a horrible cult. Doesn't even sound like a fun cult. I'm going to ask you some questions, answer oh. truthfully. I wouldn't think the two of us would have much to discuss about her. We may have had some terse interactions before her death, which I most certainly regret. But beyond those, well, never mind. What would you care to know? Uh, you didn't get along? I wouldn't necessarily say that. The media tends to exaggerate. I will admit that her remarks about my seminars were rather unfortunate. However, I certainly wouldn't sharpen any sabers over it, if that's what you mean to imply. I only do that when my clients skimp on their bills. Uh, okay. I did not. She had no interest in my seminars, and I had no interest in attempting to convert a stubborn actress. Convert to your <laughs> Why cult? Would I have had any cause to engage with her further. Where were you with the time of the murder? I've been at the Wilderness Exploitation Reserve for quite some time now, as my disciples can attest. In fact, I haven't visited the Colonials since I arrived several weeks ago. <laughs> Bad energies, you understand. Yep, okay, fine. I now realize that I had nothing to do with Helen's demise. Yeah, you've got some interesting herbs in here. Please, that you notice. Excellent eye, brother. The compound they're treated with is my own invention, designed to unlock an individual's true productive potential when burned. I can't say any more. Trade secrets, you know. They're toxic. They're they're toxic enough to kill None people. Of my clients have ever complained, so I'm sure they're perfectly safe. Is there anything else? I'm sure, you don't even care. I'm sure you don't even care. Right, alright. Uh, let's just hack this terminal over here. View messages. Uh, talk to this person. Hello, welcome to the profit of So humor will be balanced. Alright, we're skipping all this. Okay, Helen's murder. 
Yes, this is important enough. Yes, okay. The, the prophet had a feud. Yes, the circumstances there are quite unfortunate. For a time, the prophet was completely despondent. Even the hot coal walks weren't buoying her spirits as they usually do. However, we recently had a high profile visitor whose presence seemed to alleviate whatever the prophet's fears were. Spencer Warwick. Oh, you must have misheard me. I said high profile, not had profile. Mr. Woolrich comes by much too often to be worth mentioning. Well, <sighs> by and large, no. But something rather odd did happen regarding the prophet recently. Uh -huh. A few hours after our high profile visitor arrived a couple of days ago, the prophet asked me to take over sessions for the remainder of the day. At first, I was excited. Thought it was my chance to show her what I could do in charge. But then I saw that she was deeply worried about something. No one saw her until the next day. Where were you at the time? It's not her. At the retreat in the company of the other disciples and clients. I rarely have more than a few minutes of alone time. Which is fine, of course. I do what I do in the service of the Prophet. Who will, I'm sure, reward me for my sacrifice? Eventually. I highly doubt it. That's all for now. Actually, before you go, I want to report something suspicious. Ah! I noticed the Prophet dragging something, a bundle, away from the retreat after that high-profile guest arrived. Normally, I'm the one who does her laundry, so it was strange. Especially because whatever she was dragging seemed oddly human shaped. I'll look into that. Look for the body. Do we have a. Alright, we'll go out here and we'll see. If the... I don't know why the body would be out here. Uh, yes, human footprints. Are they Helen's? Not Helen's. Prophet of. Recalibrating. These footprints were made by the Prophet of Profitability. Yeah, okay, cool. Put all them bullets into her head. Oh, come on, people. Just. Alright. It's just the footprints that you guys are showing me, is it? Is it? Okay, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. More feet to first ground. Analyze. Corpses don't get up and walk away, and there's no evidence of a body being torn okay. apart. Likely theory. Individual injured was unconscious, not dead, and walked away after awakening. Could this be specifically set up to throw us off the careful? Off the... I don't know. Completely read that. Off the trail. I reckon it was there to throw us off the trail. No. Yes, it's just it's just the fate, isn't it? Yeah, okay, we don't need to check every footprint. We do not need to check every footprint. Let's go confront the prophet. Alright, let's go see what she knows about this dead body. Possibly oh it's not Helen's body though. Ah, it was a stupid idea. Welcome back. Whose brother. body is it, and who was the high? To extend my desire to aid you, brother. How might I assist? Who was the high-profile guest? Um. It's a human-shaped uh, lump. Who said that? 
put a U dragon away. Some special seminar on not needlessly implicating the person who puts food on their table. It was a bundle of clothing, brother. Even productivity geniuses need to do laundry from time to time. Ah, you're lying. The quicker I get the trip, the faster I leave you alone. Mm, yes. I suppose the more quickly we get off this subject, the better. I had a visitor, yes. But as it turned out, some of my productivity techniques were too much for them. I had to drag them out by hand. But their peers came and collected them shortly thereafter. I'm sure whichever attendee it was is perfectly safe now. I follow the trail to where you dump something in the wilderness. Oh, really? What did you find there? What did I dump? For a profit, you've certainly made some bad decisions. Fess up. No, I think you're mistaken. There was nothing there, I suspect. And without evidence, I don't expect to be accosted further. <sighs> you said you had no further <sighs> interaction with Helen. Were of no interest to her. I saw a message from Helen on your terminal about attending a session. Ah, that was what was on the terminal. I suppose that does complicate things. Clever work, Inspector. It seems even I can't slide my way out of the trap you've so intricately weaved. I admit it. I killed Helen. By mistake. Helen changed her mind and wanted to attend one of my sessions. I, knowing the importance of the seminar, desired to truly galvanize her. Though not to stop her heart. So when it came time, I chose to double Helen's dosage of productivity-enhancing herbs. I left her to meditate, and when I returned, she was dead. After that, I entered a less than coherent state. One of my disciples, it seems, witnessed me as I dragged Helen's body out into the wilderness. But Helen died from a gunshot. What the hell? Okay, what happened? Oh, no. I hate guns. If I ever wanted to kill someone on purpose, I would have used a blunt weapon. Nothing quite like clubbing someone over the head. The wilderness, you didn't dump the body at the Grand Colonial? Do you jest? The guests at the Colonial eat no shortage of strange things, but I think corpses are perhaps too strange. The creatures of the wilderness are much less picky. Besides, the hotel is ridiculously far. I couldn't have made it all that way without someone realizing I was dragging a corpse. Uh, actually, I don't think you killed anyone. Certainly not Helen. That's a bit strange. You sure Helen was I'm dead? I'm a medical professional, but that certainly seemed the case. Usually my customers at least writhe or mumble after a session. My productivity-enhancing herbs typically do induce sluggishness, but I suppose they must have been enough to do her in, if her constitution was truly that weak. You're poisoning people with herbs. Don't think you killed it's all a bit strange. Yeah, what? I guess. Is this some kind of joke? You're an inspector. It's your job to arrest me, isn't it? Uh... Halcyon, Helen's body was found at the Grand Colonial. She was killed I there. You. I think this is all a trick. You're trying to, to catch me in a lie. Get me to reveal my productivity secrets. <sighs> Look. If Helen's body wasn't where you left it, she must have waken up no. and walked away. Someone must have moved it after I killed her. One of my business rivals, waiting for me to fall into a false sense of security so they can strike. Yeah, you're an idiot and I'm done with you. You can't trick me. I finally discovered what's happening. You've been paid off. Someone else learned that I killed Helen and is going to use that information to blackmail me. You think I'm going to let this injustice happen? Ha! <laughs> Tell the constable that I killed Helen. It's a thousand times less miserable than whatever my enemies have planned. Uh, can we just leave now?
whether or not you killed Alan, yeah, Even putting you in prison matter, isn't the, uh, it is the safest are... option. Yes, yes, I think that's smart. What a fucking nut job, man. God damn it. Right. What the hell is going on here? Can I just do that? Hard inactive quests. I can't fast travel from this location. Well, that's. Uh, out of the way, runner. Now, yeah, let's just have a look around here while we're here. Why not? Um. All right, yeah. It doesn't look like there's going to be much here. Let's go back and report to the administrator. All right, let's contact the administrator. I finished my investigation into the profit of profitability. That title, but not for the reasons you'd expect. The profit business has been profitable for the hotel, not so much for Ms. Lamer's followers. So, tell me, what yeah, no shit, it's a cult. Uh, she really wants to be arrested. She wants to be arrested? That's not the kind of behavior I expect from a suspect. Perhaps she's carrying a guilty conscience. Does the prophet strike you as a reasonable candidate for Helen's murderer? Maybe she needs to be detained until I'm done with my investigation. The prophet could spell the end of her career. But that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Thank you for the update, Inspector. I'll include everything you've told me in my official report. I know who killed Halsey on Helen. I've been waiting for this. Tell me, Inspector, who killed Halsey on Helen? Oh, Jesus, okay. You did. Uh, this is oh, so I've got to pick someone. I don't think any of them did it, but the prophet of profitability definitely tried to kill her. So let's go with the prophet. Somehow I'm not surprised. What makes you sure it was the prophet? The prophet had a personal grudge against Helen. Yes, excellent. Helen was openly critical of the prophet's seminars. She has a motive for killing Helen, but there's one problem. The trouble is Helen was killed in the ballroom. I'm told the Prophet never left her retreat. How do you account for this? Uh, the Prophet insisted she killed Helen at the retreat, so I guess she moved Don't the say body. I guess, Inspector. Have confidence in your accusation. If Miss Leva insists she killed Helen, we must take her at her word. So the Prophet had a clear motivation for killing Helen. Tell me what happened on the night of the murder. I have no idea, mate. Helen survived the prophet's last attempt at the law out of her life. She finished the uh, job. I like the way you think, Inspector. The prophet acted in cold blood. I don't think it was Helen's her. Helen's autopsy report tells me she died of plasma burns and blunt trauma. What do you make of that? Oh. Shrug, who cares? Make something up right in the report and move on. Blow to the head, followed by plasma shots to make sure she died. Right, of course. That seems perfectly logical. It's clear to me that the Prophet murdered Halcyon Helen. I appreciate your work, Inspector. But I haven't given you any real evidence. It's all just circumstantial. Uh, you've given me enough to clear this institution's name in the eyes of the colony. That's all I ever asked of you. We're finished here. Jasmine Leva, prophet of profitability, will be delivering seminars in Tartarus, if she's lucky. I'll contact board authorities immediately. Wait, don't move a muscle. Someone's just tripped my alarm. And my security defenses. And killed my patrols. <laughs> is under attack. Someone's after me, Inspector. I need you over here right now. Yeah, I'll be right over, now, mate. Inspector. Damn it. Someone's interfering with my transmission. Can you read the... <laughs> How did you not notice that? So, guys, should we help him out, or...? The real killer is. 
I got a feeling they're going after Mr. Ludovico. We need to catch up to him. Fast. I guess. If we have to. Getting kind of tired of kicking my heels up in the penthouse all day. Hmm. I'm all done. Right. I got nothing going on. Okay. I, yeah. We should definitely go. As for helping him, maybe we take a wait and see approach? Yep. From the depths of Terra 2 to the heights of Eridanos, there's no med that your SAM unit can't unstick, unclog, or unsully. Think of this as an opportunity to teach Mr. Ludovico the importance of compassion. Hmm. Okay, well, I think we'll end it there. So we, uh... Investigated the Prophet of Profitability, she definitely tried to kill Helen, even if you can take the word of that absolute psycho lunatic. Yeah, that, I'm not sure what's happening with her, so we accused her of the murder. It's clear that nobody else, nobody actually, um, that we investigated did the killing. So, I guess next episode we will go and look, uh, look after the administrator I don't know we'll go see what's happening we'll go see who uh who's trying to kill him but yeah anyway I hope you've enjoyed I've been Venomous White and I hope to catch you in the next one have a good one cheers